I can't believe it's the end of summer already. It's already uh, cool out. Starting to get some <laughs> fall colors. Yeah, fall colors. I noticed you got some new pants on there. I do, I do. This, is, this video is brought to you by Western Rise. Western Rise. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, tell me about your pants. Oh, you're gonna get him all dirty. Oh. Uh, I'm not too worried about him getting me dirty. These pants are uh, wrinkle and stain resistant. Well, you're getting ahead of me on the trail there, trying to take off running. Oh yeah, these pants are great. They uh, stretch in every direction. They've seriously changed how I dress. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's like a jogger style. I noticed you were jogging there. <laughs> it is a, a jogger style. It's actually a, a, a type of pants that I've really been looking for, really searching for over the years, and had very little luck finding it. The first thing you notice, it's very good quality. Uh, it's not too heavy. Very durable. And it's extremely durable. So probably wouldn't be wearing it in the heat of the summer, but for me, 50, 60 degree temperatures are perfect for running. Mm -hmm. um, and then another really cool option is this pocket here for your phone. So most of the pants that I found, you know, the only pockets they have are in the front. And the last thing you want to do is run with a, a phone right in your front pocket. This one, it's got a nice little pocket. It's right on the back side of your uh, hip bone. Yeah. And then you can zip it up and it's, you know, when I was running with it earlier, didn't barely could feel it in there at all. Vigo, get that root. Get it. Vigo, you are the dirtiest dog in the world. Get it, get it. Oh, you stink, Vigo. So, geez, they're so durable, it's like they might last forever. Uh, I think they will, and uh, they have a lifetime warranty as well. Sweet. So there's a seven day free trial? Right, and then part of the, the free trial is that you can test multiple colors, multiple sizes, and they only charge you if you keep the, the pants. Well, they seem like they're pretty popular pants. They've got 5,000 five star reviews, and then after, since I've been wearing them, I'll give it 5,001 five star <laughs> reviews. <laughs> nice. So where can people try these pants out if they want to check it out? So westernrise.com backslash discount, and they also give you a seven day free trial, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so you can test drive any pants that you want. You can test drive them, yeah. Where, how many places can you say offer that kind of a, a discount or a return policy or test drive for clothing? Yeah. Nobody does that. There you go. Are you bringing a stick or are you gonna, what are you doing? Hey, one. He knows he's gonna get sprayed. <laughs> Sprayed with the water because you're dirty. And that's fine. You wash your ball. <laughs> oh, you got some on your pants. <laughs> oh. And it beads off. Beads off, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. Beads off of you too, doesn't it? Soaks right in. <laughs> you're in a good spot. <laughs> he thinks he's funny. He's like trying to catch me with this. <laughs> run away, run away. It's <laughs> <That was> cold. <laughs> Did you get yourself? <laughs> it's like, comes out at like 45 degrees. <laughs> Got your load of foam. All right, so the next step is... Slicing it up. Cutting it up. Cutting it to fit in between the joists. Oh, okay. Some spray foam at the ends of it. Okay. Wherever there's any gaps. Yep. And then we can show you inside where the how it makes a a nice little pocket. It'll be one inch uh, little air pocket in there. Oh. So that's where the pipes are in there with the metal flanges. So that little one inch pocket's what he heats up. Okay. It heats up that area and then that warms the floor from underneath. Oh, okay. So we keep the, the heat going up and so it won't be able to get through the foam. All right. So.
This is like you're doing some, yeah. ma some serious magic up here. How you get that foam in between the... Yeah. Skill. <laughs> <laughs> so I put the... I took all the insulation out because there's pink insulation that's shoved all the way back. Oh, yeah. I see that pink insulation. So I took all that out. And then I cut a 30-inch piece and I was able to get under the pipe all the way to the back. And I got it completely wedged in there and stuck. Oh. I couldn't pull it out. Oh. So I had to get the hoe. A hoe? So I could put the hoe all the way in the back and I could loop it up on the edge. And then I could, with one hand on the front and one hand on the hoe, I could get, I could get it pulled forward again. Uh-huh. So that I got up to where the the, the hanger brackets are. Yeah. And I cut a little little slits in the, in the foam, and then I could pull it so that it uh -huh. seated in the hanger. Yeah. And the other, then I had to put cut this other piece in half, and then I had put a slit on the top of it so I could bend it and get it up over the pipe. And then when I wedged the sides up, it, the middle popped back down. Wow. Some serious finagling. A lot of work just for that one piece. <laughs> and we thought the pex tubing was hard to maneuver. I know. So I wrapped all of that with the, this foam insulation here. Oh, okay. So I got that all the way around here. Oh, yeah. And then here. I still got to put some tape on these pieces. <clears throat> and I still have to uh, put foam on all the these individual pieces. So you got all your foam in, you got your foam lines, you've got your foam panels, you even use a little spray foam. Now what's next? Uh, now I'm going to put some thermostats in. Okay. So I have to run the thermostat wire. So over here, I actually should have ran the thermostat wire first instead of putting my foam up. But So what I'm going to do is just cut a little uh, patch out mm -hmm. with the razor knife and then uh, I can run the wire and then it's... Then I could just slide that patch back in, that okay. little piece of foam. We'll run that one, and then the other one's going to get run in here, right up in here. Might do this one. This handy tool. This is a little uh, fish tool for fishing wires through walls. Uh-huh. So, because I need a ladder. <laughs> We're gonna get it with this tool right here. Down. Okay. Wait. The wire was coming up oh, with no. it. It's not no, because I only got this is the only end. If I had a short piece, then I could do that. Oh, okay. Now I'll pull the wire up to the string. Okay. Okay. Wait.
Boston. Almost like it. Almost like I can do what I was doing. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> What's this you're working on? This is a mounting spot for the controller. I'm gonna mount it above the valve so that the, because the valve wires are only about that long. So I want them to easily, I don't have to splice every single one and run it to the, oh. closer to the boiler. Oh, okay. So I'll mount this right above the, the zone valve so I can, I can mount the taco controller and anything else that I need. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, I've got some blue paint left from before, and the other one's blue, so... Oh, okay. Hopefully it works. It's been, been a while. It's been a while. Sorry, boys. So we need to soak the tip in some... All right, everything hooked up just about. Now we're down to the money. <laughs> the money. Okay, so what does the thermostat wire get hooked up to? This. Oh. And then the, the one, the wire up there, well, a wire gets run from this to the boiler. That thermostat wire needs to get connected to this as well. Mm -hmm. off and these go on hmm. and then the wire goes up into there oh. and then that gets wired to the boiler. Seems simple enough. Yeah hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it's that simple. Hopefully it's seems like it in my mind. So. <laughs> the next thing will be to connect the pipe to the valves. You close the two valves here, hook up a water hose, and then this could be, this is the bleed one, or the other way around. And then uh, turn these three off, open these one at a time, and bleed the air out. Oh. So I'll run the garden hose to run the water through. Oh. I'll just connect, well I can connect it from here, actually. Come with a how-to manual? No. There's no manual at all. Because it's online only. Hmm. Unless it's inside. That'd be a tr neat trick. <gasps> Look! Instructions! <laughs> oh, they're on the back. Oh, you need a magnifying glass. Yeah. <laughs> Little jumper resistors, I guess. To figure out how to use those. Hmm. That looks simple enough. Yep. Okay. 
You can even hook it up to the uh, Wi-Fi. Hmm, interesting. Instructions. Oh, it's not easy. Enough. Take my contacts out. <laughs> we're, not, we're not at that point anymore. We're at the mounting on the wall part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in the final stages, guys. So. I don't know, how are we doing? We need, a, we need a vote of confidence here because this is the tricky part. We got everything wired, now we've got to do the connection. So any tips that you have as far as connecting thermostat wires to the zone valve control system, uh, putting these on to the manifold, connecting the PEX tubing, leave some comments. I know we got to read through the manual and do all that, but we'll keep you posted on the next video. We're actually going to get it running and see if we can get some heat in the floor upstairs just in time for the cooler temperatures. And we'll keep you posted on the shed too. We met with our engineer last night and we have some updates on that as well. Probably in the next video, guys. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.